Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to configure automations per client. I am under our cloud hybrid client and have opened the package for a new user automation. What I can do is go into the actual package and fine tune or tweak certain things. You will see most of this filled in from the initial discovery and the deployment of agents. One of the most important things to check is the username formats and UPN names or email addresses. During the user onboarding automation, this is what PIA suggests as the naming convention. This is how PIA gets it right every time and takes the guesswork out of it. As I scroll down, you will see an extra feature set. Maybe you would like to send a welcome email after the onboarding. We also have an SMS global gateway, which is great for password resets and that automation. That can be turned on and off. The license provisioning is for our CSP integrations. Another great feature so we are not leaving the PSA. The password section can be set so PIA makes a password suggestion based off the complexity rules. On a user onboarding, there are multiple options to set up the security of a user. Here, you can set up some default departments so the tech can pick from a dropdown. There are also times when a client may ask to copy an existing user to a new employee. The copy user function does just that. Both of these can be changed or adjusted during the confirmation before PIA does the work. We also have the ability to add tasks to a ticket. After an automation is ran, PIA can insert these into a ticket. It is very easy to insert your text here to whatever you need done by a tech. A suggestion is to use these to insert links to your documentation. My user onboarding is already complete. You will see PIA has a note that there are manual tasks that need to be completed. If I refresh my screen, here are those tasks that PIA created. These are great for work that needs to be completed after an automation is ran. And a bonus tip, I have heard from many partners that techs that are running PIA tickets will copy the notes created by PIA as their time entry. This is another great time saver. They can take the general notes or the audit trail. All of those can be customized. Let's go over a few config items on the automation packages in the admin portal. The Approver section is great if you need to have PIA stop in automation to get approval. A great example is acquiring licensing from a CSP. Once the approval is met, PIA can continue with the automation. We also have the Extension Points. This is available to partners that build their own automations. We give you the ability to extend or stack onto our automation packages. What that means is you do not have to build these crazy and in-depth automations like P has done. This is what we're here for. Simply add on to ours. There are a few points where you can add those right here. Again, these can be done per automation per client as needed. This gives our partners the best of both worlds. Doing it this way gives us the ability to continually update our automations while not affecting anything that has been created by our partners. Thanks for watching and make sure to sub our YouTube channel and get all the latest content. We will see you next time.